what is an account a ledger account is simply a record of transactions relating to a specific accounting item or element now by accounting item or accounting element i could mean an asset or a liability or equity or expense or revenue item an account has three parts we have a title um, we have uh, the left hand side of the account which is called the debit side then we have the right hand side uh, the right hand side is called the credit side so from your screen you can see that the account is in form of the letter T that is why ledger accounts are sometimes called T accounts so if you are to look at the T account or this ledger account a bit closer the debit and the credit side of this account contain this kind of information. Let's explore the information contained in an account in detail. This information is classified in terms of columns. So we have what we call the debt column. And definitely the debt column records the debt when the transaction took place. Then we have what we call the details or particulars column. In this details or particulars column, we record the information regarding the other account that has been affected in a transaction. And when we are talking about double entry, there are always two accounts that are affected. So mm -hmm. when we are trying to fill in the account, that bit, that part of the, uh, the details or the particulars column is where we, f f we write information about the second account that has been affected. We'll look at that a bit later. Then we had what we call the folio column. The folio column simply records the location of the other account where the double entry has been completed. And so this speeds up the process of finding the other account where the double entry has been completed. Then we have what we call the amounts column. We have an amounts column on the side of the debit. Then we have an amounts column on the credit side. And of course, at the amounts, that is where we write the actual figure of the transaction. If you go and buy a hen and the hen costs you 10,000 shillings, the 10,000, the figure is written in the amounts column. Now, at the top of the amounts column, we normally put the unit of the currency that we are using in brackets. So if the amounts are in dollars, we shall write amounts in dollars at the top. And then, so that we do not have to keep writing the units of the, of the, uh, the currency repetitively throughout the column. So as I have been trying to introduce to you what I mean by an account, uh, I talked about the double entry. Double entry is a very important concept because it is the backbone of the accounting, the entire accounting process. Like this video. If you like it, be sure to subscribe. Check out other awesome accounting videos on this channel. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next session.